first two games here in Toronto, then the Blue Jays won two of three in Philadelphia. They came back here and won it eight to six on Joe Carter's bottom of the ninth inning, three-run home run the first time, actually the second time, that a World Series has ended in the bottom of the ninth on a home run. Bill Mazeroski of the Pittsburgh Pirates did it in Game 7 against the Pittsburgh Pir or for the Pittsburgh Pirates against the New York Yankees. Let's go back now into a very wet and joyful Blue Jay clubhouse and Rod Black. There? Yeah, there you are. On the <laughs> Dwayne Ward is here. Uh, you normally go into a, a save situation. You normally don't go in when you're trailing the game. Who would have thought uh, that would have occurred? Uh, who would have thought Joe Carter would have put it out the way he did? But who would have thought anything <laughs> like this happened in this series? Well, who would have thought anybody was going to repeat? But uh, it happened, and it's like I said, it's been the first time 15 years. And uh, I'll tell you what, i got nothing but good things to say about this ball club here and this organization. I mean, they've put together as good a team as you possibly can out there on the field. And when you get somebody like a Paul Molitor, a Dave Stewart, a Joe Carter, Robbie Alomar, John Olroot, I mean, you can go down a whole list of ball players here that uh, contributed so much to this ball club, you know, and unsung heroes like Pat Hankin. And, I mean, you can't say enough about them. I and mean, I'm just so happy to be a part of something like this. Cito Gaston, too. Uh, can we talk about him for a minute? A lot of people uh, second guess. Uh, a lot of people criticize somehow it all works out for him. Well, it seems like, you know, no matter what you do, you know, somebody's going to second guess you. I mean, whether it be, you know, players, management, media, fans, whatever. Cito goes out there and he goes with his gut feeling. He has a game plan, he sticks to it, and he just doesn't, he doesn't waver from it. Tonight, you know, I mean, he, he called me out there to go pitch the ninth inning, you know, and I think his, uh, you know, his thinking behind that was to go out there and make sure that they didn't get any more runs to give this offense a chance to come back and score one or two and you know, see what happens from there, and uh, it still happens we scored three, and uh, we end up clinching this thing. How are you going to celebrate this? What are you going to do? Oh, shoot. I'm right now, uh, throwing a lot of beer around, <laughs> throwing a lot of champagne around, and I can see you've been smoking <laughs> right here. But, uh, no, I'm just going to take, you know, take this and just uh, look back on it and just say, you know, we've been part of history, and uh, hopefully that uh, this ball club will uh, enjoy it, this organization will enjoy it, and I hope the fans out there in Toronto enjoy it. Man, I'll tell you what, this one here, we want it here in the hometown. I hope everybody out there enjoys it. Dwayne Ward, a winner, too. Jerry Dobson. Okay, Rod, the Philadelphia Phillies have been around over a cent well, almost a century, the Toronto Blue Jays since 1977. But guess what? The Toronto Blue Jays lead the Phillies now in World Series titles 2-1. to one. The Phillies have been to the World Series three times. They've only come away with one win. The Blue Jays now have two. And let's go back now to the clubhouse and Rod and Ed Sprague. Yeah, Ed Sprague is down here with us. Uh, World Series hero last year with the big belt. You stopped that already. <laughs> Ed, um, wow, uh, two in a row. I, I know this series could have gone the other way, and I, and I know this team has been sort of a, a team that really has been able to dig deep at, at some tough times. Uh, you look at your batting lineup, many people thought that you would not have lost this series, but credit the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, they are a game bunch. There's no question. I mean, you got to give them a lot of credit. I mean, they got uh, people have a tendency to look at, you know, at the long hair and the beards or whatever image they want to look at. But the bottom line is those guys are good professional ball players, and that, that's what it's all about. I mean, they played a hell of a series uh, to come back, you know, and score five runs in that sixth, seventh inning, whatever they did. Uh, I mean, you know, it, they're a great team. I mean, they could be doing the same thing we could be doing right now. They could have won that 15 to 14 game, and they could have won tonight's game, and they could be celebrating. But this team has a lot of character, too, and we weren't going to die. You did not want to go to a game seven, I think. I don't think anybody wants yeah. to go to a Game 7. There's no question about it. Um, we would have been ready for a Game 7. We certainly were confident with Pat Hankin on the mound. But, I mean, certainly everybody wants to get it done as soon as they can. Congratulations. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Ed Sprague, third baseman, first baseman, World Series champion tonight. Jerry? And lost in all of this, the Toronto Maple Leafs have set a new NHL record. Nine straight wins to open the season. They beat Tampa Bay tonight by a score of 2 to nothing. So a big night in sports for Toronto hockey fans and baseball fans. We'll be back with more in just a moment from Skydome. <laughs> 